Hello everyone, I'm Michele, building engineer and architect. This is my first Grasshopper video tutorial and we are about to create the Tree of Life of Expo 2015 occurred in Milan from the simple concept design point of view. Of course its shape, if we consider the engineering problems, could be optimized through solvers like Galapagos or Caramba. But let's do it simple for today. Why did they choose this architectural icon? Well, because they built it in Brescia, my birth city. Indeed, it's our proud that the whole world could admire at Expo 2015. So, enjoy and now, let's go! In this first part, we're gonna create the line which represents the height of the building something about 37 meters and then we're gonna split it into three parts the crown, the trunk and the skirt of the tree of life. Grafting the three segments just obtained, we can give a different number of construction planes to each of them. These construction planes will contain the circles requested in order to get the, the shape of the tree of life. Now we can play a bit with the graph mapper in order to uh, change the distribution of the construction planes and the distribution of the radices of the circles.
now that we have a nice distribution of the circles which represents more or less uh, the shape of the existing tree of life, we can finally set points onto them. But we have to pay attention because uh, the data structure um, of each branch of these points contains points uh, belonging to the same horizontal plane. So, first we have to flip this data structure and then shift it um, of a unit per each circle according to the height. Since we're going to make the beams, branches of our tree, we'll need rectangular sections riding the rail interpolate curves we just created. But we have a problem, because we need to control the positioning, rotation and direction of these rectangular sections. And how can we do that? First of all, we have to pull our interpolate curves onto a lot surface created through the circles we had before. Then, with an offset of these same pulled curves, we can uh, make a vector starting from a point belonging to the first pulled curve to its offset in a perpendicular way. Then, from the same point, starting from the first vertical, we can set a normal vector of the circuit. This way, with these two vectors we just created, we can use a construction plane where we're gonna put our rectangular sections. Of course, the higher the number of rectangular sections, 
the more accurate will be the final outcome. And of course, this way we can solve the problem of intersections among the bits. Thank you.